Welcome, we're in lesson 35. Today we're going to talk about changing coordinates in section 35a. We have a three-parter today. And um, so a change in coordinates, you can kind of think about a change in coordinates as a taking a point and moving it from one place to another. So here we start with P1 at 2, 5, and we moved it to 5, 1. So that's point 2 or position 2 here. Another way you can think about that is as the hypotenuse. I'm going to use a different color here. The hypotenuse of a right triangle. Now when we think about this position change, we think about it in terms of from 1 to the other in the direction that the arrow tells us from the first position to the second position. So even though this is a hypotenuse, it's a positive length, it's all, length is always positive, um, we are going to think about it in relative terms of direction. So let's just begin by solving for the change in y and the change in x, um, which we know as the slope or the rise over run. So we take the y values, which is um, position 1, is where it starts, position 2 is where it ends. So we always subtract position 1 from position 2. We subtract where it started from where it ended up. So 1 minus 5 is our y values, and 5 minus 2 is our x values. And that's going to be negative 4 over 3. This is going to be our rise over run or our slope. You can also tell us using these the distance in um, in the change here. And the way we would do that is by using the distance formula. And the distance would be the same thing as the hypotenuse formula that we've used before. The square root of 1 minus 5 squared plus 5 minus 2 squared. Now remember, this is just Pythagorean's theorem written a different way. We take a squared plus b squared equals c squared, right? a is going to be the length of one side, and in this case, a is the y side. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, and it's negative 4 because it's down. Um, you know, up and down here. And we know that negative 4 is never going to actually be negative 4 when we square it because a negative times a negative is positive. So whether or not it's a negative number doesn't even matter. This becomes 4 squared, which would be 16 plus, and 5 minus 2 is 3, so 3 squared would be 9. So the distance here would equal the square root of 25. The distance would equal 5. And if you remember anything about your triples, in your triangles, you know that when we have a triangle with a 3 and a 4, the hypotenuse is always 5, right? So all of that math works out. So whenever you're asked to write a distance formula given two points, you can write it like this. This is the format you want to use. You want to say distance is equal to um, y1 y1 minus y2, or actually I'll take that back, it's position 1, so it would be y2, I can get my pen back, y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared, and all of that under the square root symbol um, with your d is equal to in the beginning. So we're going to have a practice problem here, and um, it's 35.1. Let me clear the page. So 35.1, and it says given points P1, which is negative 3, 2, and P2, which is negative 4, negative 5, uh, what do we represent by a negative 3, so this is a, negative 3 minus negative 4, and b negative 5 
minus 2. What does that represent? And what this represents, A is going to be your change in X. I'm sorry, your change in Y. And B is going to represent your change in X. Easy peasy. That is all that is. That is change in the location of the P1 coordinate to the P2 coordinate. Change in Y over change in X. So this is just kind of basic stuff. We have another problem just like that, 35.2. It's just really drilling down into some of the deeper theory and making you really identify and recognize all the moving parts. It's really what this little part of this lesson is all about. So again, we're given point P1. This is our beginning position. It's negative 3, negative 2, and position 2 is negative 4, negative 5. What is represented by A? Negative 4 minus negative 3 and B. Uh, negative 2 minus negative 5. So all this means is A is going to be the change in X and B is going to be the change in Y. So it's just getting you to recognize the location of the two points. That's all it is. How, where it goes from one to the other on your Cartesian coordinate system and, and what it represents. Now, if we were to write this as a distance formula problem, for, let's do the first one. Um, distance would equal, and let's just give ourselves plenty of room there. So y2, which is negative 5, y1, which is minus 2 squared plus x2, which is negative 4, minus negative 3, so it's going to be plus 3 squared. That would be your distance formula. That would be how you would do it. So distance would equal here, the square root, we've got negative 7 squared. That's going to be 49 plus negative 1 squared would be 1. So distance would equal the square root of 50 which we know is 2 times 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. So distance would equal 5 times the square root of 2. That would be our result, our answer for this. This one, number 35.2, distance would equal the square root of y2, so negative 4, minus y1, so it would be negative 2 would make that a positive 2 squared, plus x2, which is, I did that completely wrong. I did x and y. So that's why you've got to really pay attention because this should be y. So y2, so negative 5 plus 2 squared plus the x, negative 4 minus negative 3 would be plus 3 squared. All right, so there's my problem. The distance here would equal the square root of, that'd be a negative 3 squared, so it'd be 9 plus 1. The distance would equal the square root of 10. And that'd be where you'd stop. Um, in some instances, it might ask you to go ahead and resolve and give it a decimal length. If that's the case, I'm typically going to put that in the problem for you. For the most part, I want you to do this mental math, the mental math way, especially when it's numbers like this that we can solve and just leave. They're small numbers. Um, but like I said, if, if it's going to come about such that I want you to give me the decimal, the actual length, then you would just put the square root of 10 in your calculator, 10 square root, that'd be 3.2. All right, the distance would equal 3.2 or 3.16, depending on the degree of precision that we're looking for. All right, and that's all we have for 35A.
which is the change in um, coordinate. So there's going to be a couple practice problems for this. And then we're going to watch a video for 35 point B, the name of a number.